हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल एंड द इंटीग्रल इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो लेट अस कॉल दिस इंटीग्रल एज आई राइट नाउ हेयर सी द इंटीग्रेंट इज एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड इफ वी आर एबल टू फाइंड एन अप्रोप्रिएट सब्सटीट्यूशन देन वी शुड सर्च फॉर इट राइट बिकॉज अ प्रॉपर सब्सटीट्यूशन कैन मेक दिस इंटीग्रल इजी राइट सो वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इंटीग्रल बाय मेकिंग सब्सटीट्यूशन as uh, uh, x square is equal to cos 2 theta right because uh, uh, we know uh, an important uh, trigonometric identity uh, which we will uh, discuss uh, later on right so let us take x square equal to cos 2 theta now if we differentiate uh, both sides then we get 2x dx is equal to minus 2 uh, sin 2 theta uh, d theta right so this 2 and 2 get cancelled so uh, we are left with x dx is equal to minus sin 2 theta d theta right okay now uh, see uh, we are uh, changing the uh, variable from x to theta so let us uh, uh, change the limits accordingly right so uh, here we see that uh, x varies from 0 to 1 so uh, when x is 0 then we have 0 square is equal to cos 2 theta which implies cos 2 theta is equal to 0 and it implies cos 2 theta is equal to cos of uh, pi by 2 and 2 theta is equal to pi over 2 that is theta is equal to pi over 4 right and when x is uh, 1 then we have 1 square uh, we are substituting the value of x over here so 1 uh, square is equal to cos 2 theta which implies that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 uh, which is uh, equal to cos of 0 so this implies 2 theta is equal to 0 so theta is equal to 0 right so when x varies from 0 to 1 then uh, theta varies from uh, pi by 4 uh, to uh, 0 right so now uh, we can uh, rewrite this integral as uh, i is equal to uh, c uh, the limits of uh, integration are from uh, pi by 4 uh, to 0 uh, and uh, we can write uh, square root of uh, 1 minus x square means 1 minus cos 2 theta and then we have uh, 1 plus cos 2 theta right and for x dx we can write uh, minus uh, sin 2 theta d theta right okay so uh, now uh, we know that uh, 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to uh, 2 sin square theta and 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta right so therefore uh, this expression that is square root of uh, 1 minus cos 2 theta can be written as uh, 2 sin square theta and 1 plus cos 2 theta can be written as 2 cos square theta so 2 and 2 get cancelled so we are left with sin theta over cos theta right so therefore Uh, this integral i can be written as pi by 4 to 0 and here we have sin theta over cos theta 
for this expression we have sin theta over cos theta and then we have minus uh, sin 2 theta for sin 2 theta we can write 2 sin theta cos theta and uh, here we have d theta right okay so now i can be written as integral from pi by 4 to 0 cos theta and cos theta get cancelled so we are left with minus 2 sin square theta d theta right so now viewers uh, we have uh, i is equal to uh, c here we can take uh, negative sign outside so we have uh, integral from pi by 4 to 0 and we have 2 sin square theta d theta right and from trigonometry we know that uh, 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sin square theta right so we can uh, substitute this value and we have a minus integral from pi by 4 to 0 and here we have 1 minus cos uh, 2 theta and d theta for 2 sin square theta we have substituted 1 minus cos 2 theta right so now uh, the integral of uh, 1 d theta is uh, simply theta and the integral of uh, cos 2 theta is uh, sin 2 theta over 2 right and this is uh, the negative sign here and the limits are from pi by 4 to 0 right now uh, we can simply substitute the limits and we'll take the uh, difference right so here we have uh, uh, 0 then we have sine 0 over 2 because theta is equal to 0 here so we have 0 minus sine 0 over 2 minus uh, then we have here pi by 4 minus uh, sine uh, 2 pi by 4 divided by 2 right okay so now uh, we have uh, here we have 0 sine 0 is 0 so we have 0 here then we have pi by 4 and sine 2 pi by 4 is sine pi by 2 which is equal to 1 so uh, here we have 1 over 2 right now if we simplify then this negative and this negative if we multiply both negative signs we get plus here and we are left with pi by 4 minus half right so uh, this is the required uh, value of uh, this definite integral